How to use the Napoleon Pro Wireless Digital Thermometer The Napoleon Pro Wireless Digital Thermometer displays accurate readings from up to 200 feet away. Go anywhere and relax while cooking all your meats on the grill. The wireless digital thermometer will let you know when your meal is done. Four language settings are available. English, Spanish, French, and German. Each digital thermometer comes with four AAA batteries, a transmitter, a receiver, and a stainless steel probe. Turning the thermometer on. One, remove the battery cover and insert two batteries into the transmitter and two into the receiver. Two, the receiver will beep when the batteries are inserted. Three, press and hold the on-off switch on the transmitter. Four, the red light on the front of the transmitter stand will flash, meaning it is ready to synchronize. Five, on the back of the receiver, toggle the switch to either temperature mode or timer mode. Six, receiver searches for the signal and will display a flashing signal icon. Once established, the triangle will be solid and the halo will flash. Programming the clock. One, on the back of the receiver, ensure the left switch is in the off position. Two, on the front of the receiver, press and hold the start-stop button until the clock flashes. Three, press the HR arrow to advance up through the numbers zero to 23. Press the min arrow to lower the numbers 0 to 23. Press the start stop button to set the hour. Press the HR arrow to advance up. Press the min arrow to lower the numbers 1 through 59. Press the start stop button to set the minutes. Programming the desired language. 1. On the back of the receiver, toggle to the left to switch to either temperature mode or timer mode. 2. On the front of the receiver, press and hold the language button until the language changes. Three, cycle through the available languages. Four, when the desired language is displayed, let go of the language button. Temperature display selection. One, on the back of the receiver, toggle the right switch to either Fahrenheit mode or Celsius mode. Two, on the back of the receiver, Toggle the left switch to temperature mode. Three, on the front of the receiver, press the meat button. Each time the meat button is pressed, the type of meat will change. Four, when the unit displays the desired type of meat, let go of the meat button. Selecting the internal meat temperature. One, only available in beef or lamb mode. Two, select the beef or lamb mode under the meat button. Three, press the taste button. The unit will display pre-programmed temperatures each time the taste button is pressed. Customizing the internal meat temperature. One, the program temperature can be customized while the set temperature is flashing. Two, select the meat type using the meat button. Three, press the taste button. Four, Press the HR arrow to increase the numbers or min arrow to decrease the numbers. Five, the word customize will appear at the top of the display. Six, press the start stop button to set the temperature. Setting the timer. One, on the back of the receiver, toggle the switch to timer mode. Two, press the HR arrow to increase the numbers or min arrow to decrease the numbers. Three, when the unit displays the desired length of time, press the start stop button to start the timer. Four, to reset the timer, press both the HR arrow and the min arrow at the same time. Getting ready to cook. One, ensure there is no moisture on the sensor plug or cord. Insert the sensor plug on the end of the probe into the transmitter base. 
When LLL is displayed on screen, the probe is not plugged in properly. General cooking procedures. One, insert the metal probe into the thickest part of the food to be cooked, avoiding bone, fat, or gristle. Two, place food with the probe onto the grill. Do not excessively crease or bend the cord or come in contact with the cooking surfaces or flame. Three, do not put the transmitter or receiver into the grill. Four, do not put the probe or fiber cord in foods to exceed 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Five, current temperature of food displays on the left and the set temperature on the right. When set temperature is reached, the unit will beep and the display screen will light up and flash. Six, remove food using heat resistant gloves. Do not touch the probe or food with bare hands. Seven, food may continue to cook after removing it from the heat, known as rest time. The probe may be left in the food to continue monitoring the internal temperature. Eight, if the probe temperature is below 122 degrees Fahrenheit for more than 30 minutes, the base transmitter will automatically shut down. Nine, to reconnect the units, turn on the transmitter by pressing the power button. Then press and hold the start-stop button on the receiver until it beeps. 10. Do not use this unit in microwave ovens.